Hello everyone, I'm Dan. And I'm Austin. We are here to play games. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was trying to think of something witty besides badly, and it just failed. So, yes. We are here to do our catchphrase badly. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> We're here to do our intros badly. Yeah. Oh, man. You know why you're here. Uh, That's right. <laughs> yeah. Unless this is your first time here, in which case, welcome. <laughs> We're ridiculous. Welcome to our nonsense. That's right. <laughs> Um, when we last left our hero, uh, we had just decoded a cryptic vessel, I believe. Yes, here. yeah. Last time we uh, we were been, we were going through the swamp, barren swamp, and we found an old cryptic vessel that we got decrypted. So we're going to go collect the treasure that gets revealed from that, the map as aspect of it. So uh, go to the path of the pilgrim is what we're looking for. There it is. Um, and also, if this is your first time here and you've not familiar with Liza P, you want to see how we play from the beginning, uh, check the top right hand corner. I'll have a link for the play the full playlist. You can start from there. Otherwise, welcome to the chaos. We're glad to have you here. That's right. All right. So we're going to go down the lift and back through the village. Where is the lift? Is it back here? I don't remember. Where am I? I've slept since then. Who am I? That's that. Uh, yeah. There might be a lift through that doorway there. Don't mind me and my random swinging my side weapon. Here we go. Yeah, okay. This. Yeah. Lift the lever. This go down? <laughs> yep. It's a lever named Lift. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Let's lift the lever. My name is Eric with a K. No, yes. with a K is the last name. Also, the name is spelled with a C. <laughs> yeah, I spelled Eric with a C, yep. Uh -huh. All right. Um, this looks right. Yes. Yep, so now we've got to find the slum resident. And he will give us a key. We've got to find the slum resident, okay. Yeah, actually, um, there should be a picture for reference from the decrypted stuff in our collections perhaps mm, where would that be let's see here either quests items or collectibles probably collectibles no mm -hmm. it's a cryptic, uh, cryptic vessel yeah here we go tomb slums uh switch and district Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Bleak tree. He should be in that area. <laughs> the, the, the little stick figure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. All right. Yeah, I don't think we need to be up here then. Go around. Yeah. Hmm. Hello, resident, Mr. Resident. Can we go in? Yep. Here? I think he's up the hill. Based off the picture. Yeah. Hold on, I had to have a conversation with some people there. Up the hill, you said? Yeah, I think he's up that way. Up in here? Up in here. There he is. Hey, buddy. How am I going to get assaulted? No, we're good. Hey. How did you find this place? They sent you, didn't they? Yep. Those guys blabber about loyalty, but when the chips are down, they'll stab each other in the back. Oof. Yep. I don't know what's inside, and I don't really care. Take it with you and hurry. Okay. Thanks. Okay. And then, yeah, the Getting nearby shack. Like trouble to me. Getting involved. Okay. So good. Anyway, what? The shack. The, there's a door like right here to your mm. around the corner, but it's all oh, around the corner. Yeah, like it's right here to your left. There's a door right there. All right. Stuff. I knew it. All right, patches. <laughs> Something tells me that he's not as charming as patches as though. Yeah, doesn't seem to be. 
which I realize is a very low bar. <laughs> Patches the hyena. Go up here. Patches the jerkwad. Yeah, pretty much. Where does this put us? But I wanted the treasure chest. Okay. Oh, we can still get it. Don't worry. Oh, hey, we can uh, lower this. Yep. And he'll be like, but why? Whoops. There we go. Of course he's gone. He ran away. Like the coward that he is, yep. Uh, how do we... Hmm. Ooh. Maybe you can leap? Yeah, seems like that's probably the only way to get it. Possibly. Hearing some howling. Yeah, there's a guy on the roof right there. Huh? To your right. Over here? Like, oh, yeah, there he direct, is. Yeah, right there, directly across. That ain't gonna work. Nope. Alright. Negative Sky Captain. Alright, so. That looks I, I too don't... far. Yeah. Well, I was wondering if we could jump at an angle, maybe. Yeah, possibly. I'm gonna have to line it up. On this episode yeah. of Lies of P, we run in circles. <laughs> Just making sure we've, you know, firmly established the jump mechanic. Yeah, pretty much. There you go. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Life amulet plus one and a legion caliber. Mm. Yeah, max HP. Legion Caliber is uh, very good, though. I am pleased. Okay. Excellent T. Oh, hello. Alright. Now that we've gotten our treasure... And I'm, I'm losing... Apparently gotten our faces handed to us. Grief. Alright. Um, we can head back to the Baron Swamp Bridge, where we will continue to the boss. Perfect. I can just... Hold on. I keep forgetting that they give you this... Um, that is the right one, right? Because I think yeah. you have... Yeah, there's that one, and then there's that one. Uh, most recent's fine. I'll just teleport from there. Yep. But we'll <sighs> finally see whatever this green monster they were talking about in the last episode was. Ah, a green monster? Okay. Uh, were we at the bridge? Yeah, we were at the bridge. All right. To the bridge. That is, that is the way forward, my mom friend. All right, then. We shall go for the nose growing for the loading bar. So good. I don't think I ever caught that that was his nose. Yep. Yep. It's pretty great. How long have we been playing this game? Like... A while. <laughs> 13 to 20 hours? Something like that. Easily, yeah. Uh, yeah. The nose is growing. It's loading. Wow, we're right here, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Nothing else to do before this, I assume. So let's do this. Yep, we did. We took care of all that in the last episode. It evaporates. So. Okay. Let's see what we got to deal with in here. A puppet-eating green monster of some kind. That's creepy looking. Sure is. Hmm. Oh, it's like a scorpion. That's delightful. Hmm. Oh. That's messed up. Sure is. He's very angry. Once again, Liza P, you've proven to come up with some really unique designs for bosses. I applaud. Yeah, this this game's designs are 10 out of 10 as far as I'm concerned. Oh, good. Charging mechanic, that's... My favorite mechanic ever. Yep. 
know. It's... I'm trying to decipher what it is. It's almost like it's a mixture of some things. Yeah, it's some kind of messed up amalgamation. Yeah, it's almost like... I don't know. I can't tell if those are like strings for puppets, puppet tendons, or like if it's musculature, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Might be blurring the line intentionally there. Yeah, sure. This. Ah. Um. Oh, yeah. there it is. Oh. All right, well. This feels too easy. Yep. Gonna take over the puppet or whatever. Um. Listen. Oh dear. This is not good. <laughs> Can you wait till we're gone before you start? Whatever this is. <laughs> It's crazy looking. Oh, it's eyes. Oh, that's trippy. Yeah. It's a new version of a Hecaton Kyrie is what this is. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, it's name changed. That's interesting. Puppet devouring green monster. Yeah, before it was just like the green monster of the swamp or something like that. Huh. He like rotated. Uh, oh, that was he weird. did. It's very interesting. Uh -huh. Oh, yep. There it is. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna use my weapon buff after the phase shift, because mm. we are gonna have to fight both of those again. No mm -hmm. doubt. You uh, wanna switch to your sword? Will that help too? Or are you gonna keep with the. Uh, sure, let's try it. I don't know. I, I, You seem to do really well with it when it, with sing, big single targets like this. Yep. Yep, might as well. And what does equip weight look like? Yeah, 55%, that is fine. <clears throat> One thing I really appreciate about this game is that right there. Yeah. Fantastic. Like, getting run over by a boss 17 times when you're trying to pick up your souls is not a thing I've ever enjoyed. Excellent block. Thank you. Oh, that wasn't a good one. Okay. <laughs> you had to make up for it. Yeah, that's right. Oof. That decay, though. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Yes, it was. Oh. That is nonsense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the weapon. Like the boss weapon? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like he's using a, a, a kat, katana. Uh-oh. That's, yeah. I don't know why I said it that way. That's that. If you want to make a souls like, the best thing you can do is make a gigantic monster that thrashes <laughs> everywhere and does nothing but charging attacks that you have to like dodge a hundred times to deal with. That's peak. That's what you should do for every boss. I will give your game great reviews. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is coming from the man who 
has notoriously done better with humanoid figure enemies versus yeah. monstrous enemies. It, so yeah, it's very true. Yeah, and it, yeah, it really is a style thing. Like there's there's nothing wrong with this boss. It just gets on my nerves personally. Right. This is a good boss actually. Yeah, it seems to be difficult, but not like unfair in its in a, in a difficulty. Yeah, most of my ire is I am not a big fan of Dark Eater Madir from Dark Souls 3. That That's the type of boss that really okay. I'm just like, eh. Listen, this is no Osiris, all right? Right, consumed Osiris. Oh, God. Nice. Oh, that's the way to do that. Okay, cool. Oh, stunned him too, nice. Yeah. That was a much, much better set of bits. Yeah, that was awesome. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Gave him the Ganondorf stab to the face is what that was. Oak. That's, uh, we've seen this scene. <laughs> We're good. The, the grotesque mating of ant puppet parts and the monster. Yeah, indeed. I knew it. Okay. Like, I want to buff my weapon, but he's going to jump at me. <laughs> <laughs> what? You want to do something that's utilitarily better for you? Can't have that happening. Unacceptable! <laughs> yes. There we go. Yeah. Viewers, if, you, if we ever do a co-op set where we're playing Dark Souls or Elden Ring or something, you'll, you'll find that we both have our strengths for certain bosses. Dan's good with humans. I am absolute garbage with them. <laughs> oh, I gotta repair. But I make up for it by being decent with, like, ulcerated tree beasts, which are the bane of his existence. Oh, yeah. The things I loathe. Giant monsters that swirl around at 90,000 miles an hour. Man, you're just... Using all kinds of consumables right now. Yeah. As it should be. Oof. I don't remember exactly what I had in the cube, but. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, what? Oh, the throw. Freaking. That's obnoxious. Every time. Yeah. That's it. Stab him in the face. Mm. I love that. You got this, you got this. <laughs> I'll be your number one hype man. Let's go. <laughs> oh no. He's so mad. Oof. Oof. That was oh. stupid. I wasn't prepared for that follow-up hit. Dang. Um, so I don't I don't think I've shared this. Oh, uh, this one. We've, we've been dealing with puns and stupid jokes lately. Um so, uh, again, courtesy of my wife, because she knows how much to make me groan, so she'll tell me dumb jokes constantly. Um, but this blind man with a seeing eye dog walks into a hardware store, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he gets about roughly the middle of the store, and he picks the dog up by the tail and just starts swinging it around his head. He picks what up, sorry? The dog. Oh, he the picks dog. up the seeing eye dog by the tail and just starts swinging the dog around over his head in a circular pattern. And one of the like customer service reps or whatever comes like running up to this blind man like, sir, are you okay? Do you need anything? And the blind man responds, Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just looking around. <laughs> uh, very good. Very good. <laughs> so there you go. I thought it was Put something along those arsenal. lines, but I yep. like that. That's good. <laughs> if I am the uh, lore master, Austin is the pun master for this channel. Oh, you know, I'll take that title. I'll happily take that title. 
that delivery is just masterful for puns. <laughs> I have, it comes with being uh, really dry with my humor as it is. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's always greatly entertained me as well, so, yeah. <laughs> I inherited that from my mother, so thank you, Mom. <laughs> there you go. Ah. Oh my god. Oof. Stop that with is... your follow up hits. Urgh. Yeah, th there? The death of you, quite literally. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Get away Oof. from me. Oof. Oh, god. As long as he gets to hit me. Oh, and you're suffering from decay, and your sword's about to break. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hold on. Not right. Yeah, we haven't had to deal with it too much, which I'm glad that it's not like a a real heavy mechanic to deal with constantly, yeah. right? Yeah, um, I agree. But it does add like an interesting flavor to the to the encounters, especially with these special weapons. Oh yeah, definitely. Wow, that decay builds up so fast. Oof. Yeah, this this boss is really good at putting pressure. Yeah, it seems like it. There it is. Ah, come on. There we go. Yeah. You're so close. You got this. We're just gonna. Mm. No. Okay. There it is. All right. There Get it is. Out of there here. it is. Ooh. That was a that was a pretty big wall. You just had to jump. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Hello. The last hero weapon. The last hero weapon. Have okay. So has he been collecting I the hero? Like so, obviously the boss weapons we've been getting are those also the hero weapons? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Huh. Wonder if it says it in like a description or something. Let's see. <sighs> probably. He probably even said it from the beginning, and I was just like, oh. Hmm. Masterpiece. Hmm. Hey, man. I knew you'd do it. I had a feeling you'd be the perfect bait. Bait, you say? I got what I wanted thanks to you. The last hero weapon is finally in my hands. Mm. I knew where it was, but I didn't dare lay my hands on it. The swamp is too dangerous. Someday soon. You'll see. Uh. You have my thanks. And you've earned a nickname. Alidoro's Best Bait. Thanks. See you at the hotel. I don't Thank like you. Thank you for your hard work. Let's go back to the hotel and celebrate. Thank you for Let's your... go back to the hotel. Oh, okay. I guess we gotta go back there if we want to get uh, the reward for this. Yeah. Yeah, our next step is, in fact, Hotel Croc. Okay. Let's do it. We got a bunch of things to deal with here. Yep. Um, in theory, we'll be talking to Antonia, Alidoro, Paulandina. We'll talk to Belle. Mm -hmm. And Vanini. Wow. I'm just gonna make our rounds here. Alright. Yep. Hello. Come here, child. This is my first chance to get a proper look at you. She looks like she's feeling better. My illness mm -hmm. kept me from seeing such a handsome gentleman. Oh, to be young again. You are responsible for this miracle. You have no idea how much it means to me. I have to stay seated as I feel a little lightheaded, but I feel the vigor I thought I'd lost forever. Thank you. Aww. If Krat ever holds a proper ball again, I hope you'll ask me for a dance. Of course. Oh, hey. Oh. Wasn't expecting a piano piece. Me neither. Hmm. 
Interesting. Greet! You feel warmth. I do. How was that? People have no idea. Thanks for keep. Okay. <laughs> hey, Eladoro. I found the last treasure thanks to you. The Saber. Hey. A precious artifact from overseas. Mm -hmm. It'll always remind me of the rascal who stole it, then fell into the nest. I, I tried to save him, but uh, I failed. Did you know? Let the punishment More like the you crime, I say. <laughs> and in a twist of fate, you must become the weapon's true owner. A great weapon calls for a great warrior. Show me that you're worthy to wield it. Oh, that's interesting. What is, hold on, about the wanted poster. Hmm. What's this? A poster singing my praises? <laughs> oh dear, your practical jokes go too far. A, a wanted poster? <laughs> right, yeah. Let me, let me explain. There is an unscrupulous reporter called Medoro, and he's the epitome of yellow journalism, and he only writes favorable articles if you bribe him. <laughs> One time, I didn't give him a certain antique he wanted, and he slandered me, just like this. What has this world come to? Even noble explorers searching for true history get lambasted for all to see. Hmm. <sighs> Perhaps I should be pleased that this scrap of paper is powerless, as there's no authority to pay the reward. You can keep it as a souvenir. Uh, yeah, but like your your attitude makes me think that it's probably not so innocent. A great yeah. weapon. Probably. Yep, there it is. Puppet It's devouring. the cat. It's the cat Anna. It's a cat Anna. What does this one do? Fury attack, dodge. Oh, it even looks like the boss. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. When, goes to what what is Fury Attack Dodge? I... Alright. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, hmm. It's either that or it's that one. And this, I, I'm, I think I'm gonna get this. Like, I'm real curious what Fury Attack Dodge is, but I think I'm gonna grab this uh, because I do want to show off this weapon because uh, it's got some pretty cool stuff to it. Yeah, this is the one... I think at the beginning of the game, you're like, this is a, this is the weapon I'm not going to use, but you're going to ask me why, Correct. because it's common. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, this is going to make it extremely obvious. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and equip it out here. Um, yeah, this is a very me weapon. So let's go ahead and equip the two dragon sword. First of all, it's a uh, katana, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, that'd be my weapon of choice. Oh. What? Yeah. That's such a cool ability. Yep, it's got that. That's the... Left bumper and Y. That's... Oh, that's, so that's the hilt skip ability. Yeah, so if you use... Yeah, you can spin around and do some of that. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty crazy. Um, it really is rather shocking that this is not going to be a weapon you're using this run through. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, the Link Emergency Dodge and then Wind of Swords. It's fantastic. It's a fantastic weapon. <laughs> so, I mean, it is one that I can upgrade, but I do not have the amulet that's recommended. Um, it's, it's one of Elidoro's, actually. Um, so if we go take a look at it. It does something. It, it does a really good synergy to it. So I could still upgrade it and mess with it, but I wouldn't really get the build potential out of it that I would want. A great yeah, weapon. yeah, that's all good. Um, I think it might be this one. Yeah, enable dodging even with low stamina. I'm pretty sure it's this one uh, because it allows you to keep the dance going basically with the weapon, mm. uh, even when your stamina gets low. So that's nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hello. Can I pet you, kitty? Oh, yes. Sweet kitty. Get those purrs right. going. Yep. But yeah. Uh, so Paladina will net us another item. You made the right choice. 
Lady Antonia is completely cured. She is so happy. I don't even know how to thank you. I know now what a glorious feeling it is to wish for the happiness of someone you care for. Hmm. Perhaps it's presumptuous for a puppet to call that feeling love. I am happy enough just to protect her as best I can. Hmm. Thank you for saving her and for guiding me through this emotion. Press that moonstone. No matter what fate brings serving her, welcome to her. Okay. I don't like there's much else here. Uh, what is this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a booster. <laughs> Get that out of here. All right. And then you said right. Bell, I think. Yep. By the way, do you remember when I mentioned my partner? I got a distress signal from him. His last location was Krot Central Station, but my gear won't protect me from the petrification disease there. Hmm. Oh. Can you find him for me? I'll make it worth your while. Seems I'll do it. I'll do it. Thanks. My partner's name is Atkinson. I think he was trying to secure an escape route. Look for him around Krot Central Station. Okay. All right. And then we gotta talk to Vanini. Got a quest there. No. Can it be? It can. Are you hurt anywhere? Ha! You never fail to surprise me, companion. <laughs> now, allow me to return the surprise. This little wonder creates a lead acid battery in a flash. Ooh. The golden ergo is the purest form of power we can use, and it's nearly perfect. We could power a city block with this. Oh you yeah, see, I kind of forgot that was the whole reason we were heading down there. Mm -hmm. from me, powered by this. I'm not sure, but maybe it's still in their underground base. Just one problem with the base. I don't know exactly where it is. I don't know in exactly either. I had to just hand it over immediately after the launching ceremony. After all, I am the prince of the Krat social scene, and I surrendered to their mysticism. <laughs> there. It's done. Now take it. A mysticism. Uh, a secret alchemist's yeah. underground lair. That sounds like something Antonia might well have heard of. You'd better ask her about it. Huh. Golden lead acid battery. Fascinating. Yeah, I find that an interesting descriptor. Is that? That's a. It's just an item, right? Yeah, it's a quest item. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you needed it for um, for some something quest related. Okay. All right. Good yep. deal. Uh, All right. What do we got here? Dark Moon, Moonstone, of the Covenant. All right. So just to do it, we will upgrade this one, and I'll put it over the Dancer Sword, and I'm gonna re-equip the Puppet River as well. Man, that has been such a great. I weapon. know my way around. I know it's, it is solid. Um. Yeah. So we got enough to upgrade this one to plus three. Yep. I also get some levels too if you got the, if you got the space for it. Yep. Get some levels. Whatever choice you, you got make, the runes slash souls slash for you. <laughs> to to that is why I'm the listener. To bear witness. It's always souls. Yeah. <laughs> so the salt. Salt. Uh, let's see. We're at 55%. I'm three and a one. Four and a three. This is coming out in the lead here at this point. Just keep leveling that up. 24 is going to bother me, but whatever. <laughs> just, one, just one more point. Just, just, one point. just a little more strength. Just, just a little more strength. Just a little more. A little more strength. Do you have anything I heard else? what happened at the exhibition. How frightful. It's no wonder you're trying to track down the alchemists. I'll tell you one thing. Many secrets are buried in the city of Krad. The same goes for this hotel. Beneath us, there is a passage connected to an underground base of the alchemists. It's where Ergo's vein was first discovered. Long oh, ago. Oh, interesting. Until the petrification disease, the hotel worked hand in hand with the alchemists. 
But I didn't know they'd be so corrupt. Everything changed when Simon became their leader. Oh, I thought the survivors of the exhibition would be different. But they're just as corrupt. The passageways to the underground base are locked from their side. We can't get through unless they open them. And the underground base is the only way to embark for the Isle of Alchemist. Hmm. If we find the right alchemist, perhaps we can get that door opened. I heard that some of them occupy the collapsed tower of the train station. And the collapse makes me wonder whether they had something to do with the recent earthquake. Oh yeah, Look the earthquake. It, you? Okay. Yeah, it seems like Karat Central Station is where we're headed. Yeah. Yeah, because it's the collapsed. And there's so much stuff happening over there, so... Yeah, but first, mm -hmm. we're going to go back. Well, once you're done talking to whoever else. Um, I'm taking care of some quartz upgrades, I assume. Yeah, going to do some quartz upgrades. Uh, I'm going to harvest from the tree real quick, too. Yeah, but once we're done with all that, we'll actually head back to the Barren Swamp Bridge. Okay. Because that way we can talk to the rookie explorer, Hugo, again. Perfect. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, an additional amulet slot. Yeah, gonna be good. Mm. Oh, that's kind of mm. cool. And it says Fable charging upon fatal attacks. Interesting. Legion when eliminating an enemy. I'm kind of tempted to go with that one, actually. Oh, yeah, because it's constantly charging as you're fighting. Yeah, I sort of love that. Not, Let's do that. It's not bad. Yeah. The uh, There was another one that looked really good, too. Um, what are we on here? No. Fable slots. Oh, you get two special grindstone uses. That's interesting. Oh, it was a grindstone usage that maybe that I was looking at that looked interesting. Was it this? No, no, it was one of the like the slots. Okay. Um, was it which it? is in the green section? Green. It's weapon durability uh, recovery. Yes. Mm -hmm. When using a special grindstone, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. So then the question is, do we want a second special grindstone use or maybe? I'm thinking a, a second grindstone use, so I, I agree. Let's do, yeah, let's do that one. It's, that looks like a good one. All right, we're out of quartz for now. Got some really cool abilities out of this, though. Yeah. That nose. Yeah, it's growing. It can be across the room. You like walk out. Ooh. That nose is gonna be a golden tree by the time we're done. Yeah, pretty much. Plant the golden tree. Harvested. We're still kind of reeling from like the revelation of what those are, or at least what they come from. Stalker. What the, the golden fruit? The, the golden fruit tree. Gold coin fruit. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely, definitely odd. Dominable. Yeah. Let's get some more of those. Stalker. Tragic too. Very much so, yeah. Let me grab two more of those. Equip them. Okay, we got them in there already, actually. Okay. Yeah, it was sort of a big bombshell, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Let's go down here. And you said we're going to the bridge, right? Yep. Okay. Baron Swamp Bridge. To the bridge. Aladoro. Doggo. <laughs> He's no Koromaru. Mmm, that's right. He's just the best boy. He is. All right. So what am I doing here? Um, we're looking for rookie explorer Hugo. Hmm. Where was he? Hmm. 
Well, he was in a different spot earlier, but he should be over here now. Okay. He might be, like, on the bridge or back that way. Yeah, so this is yeah. through the... Yeah, I think he's back the other direction, because this is past the boss. Okay. Yeah, we don't need... Which will go there shortly. To go there, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we got to talk to him and ask about Midoro. 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 Oro? Midoro. Oh, yeah, he's over here, isn't he? Yeah, that, that was right. Yeah, it's the Palidoro. Life is short, and life in Krat is shorter. I reckon I should cherish what time I've got. All I can do is keep plugging away. Uh, if you come back by, say hello. Maybe I'll get this place open. Talk. About Maduro. Uh, you actually met Alidoro. And asked him about the wanted poster. That's odd. Alidoro and Maduro are friends. When I was hurt, he took me to Maduro, who was one of the first on the scene. Oh, Maduro is quite the medic. He saved me when the workshop tower fell. There's got to be a logical explanation. The Alidoro I admire would never talk about a friend like that. <laughs> but well, who knows? Maybe that wanted poster is real. You keep an eye on him if you see him again. Okay. In times like these, when truth and lies are blurred, the only thing to believe is your gut instinct about a person. Huh. I trust Alidoro. He wants to save people and seek out the truth. Anyhow, you gave me the first lead on Alidoro I've had in months. Take this in return. Consider it a gift suitable for times like these. A damn Ergo chunk. Thanks, man. Life is short, and all I, I can do is keep- I accept. Let me in. Let me in. Okay. Not yet. What's next? Uh, past the boss, Stargazer, and moving on. Okay. Move on to the next Star Destroyer. We must go forward to the next area. It's a trap. It's always a trap. It's always a trap! Ah! I have a cat, Anna. <laughs> That's true, you do. Mm-hmm. Your real cat, Jazz, might be uh, jealous. That's true. He might be a little... Of Anna. Displeased. <laughs> he definitely doesn't get along with other cats very well. I want that item! Mm. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Yeah, okay, I can't get to that. Up there. How do you get up there, anyway? I'm, I'm sure there's a way up. A little further yeah, around, there's. Like... I, I see the. Okay, there's like a passage behind the item. Okay, enemies. Spread us out. It's so flowy. Yeah, it's really fluid. Ooh, nice. Is it a guard? Yep. I remember now. So when you do that, um, you can do a perfect guard with it. Hmm. If like that gets timed with, so like if something's coming to hit you, you go block. Huh. Yeah. Let's see if I can demonstrate it real quick here. Assuming there's not problems down here. Oh, there are problems down here. <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh, you know what I should do? Hold on a second. I'm a fool. Okay, so what should we put here? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Healing. Mm, max amount. That's that's tempting. Uh. Yeah. 
Yeah, puppets, carcasses. I'm gonna do the blue guardian. It seems like overall that's a good. Yeah. So I should probably use the slot I literally just unlocked. Oh, right. That would be a good idea. Well, I mean, I forgot too. I didn't say anything. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Oh my god. Nice. That was crazy. Oh, that, that looks so good. Yeah, that was nuts. That was really good. This is a really cool weapon. <laughs> it seems like the window for deflecting is a little more generous than your standard perfect guard. Yeah, probably because you have to proactively like read that that block to make it work oh hey man oh, oh. that is nuts oh oh my just God. i had jutsu right through him yeah just whew. just had an anime moment Sheet. what is happening here nothing good i can tell you that much yeah this is like Part of the earthquake like destroyed a bunch of this stuff or something yeah possible yeah so there's two ways I can go here mm. hey an item uh, that is an item you wanted earlier great notebook do not regret destroying the saintist statue it's a worn out journal with blood stains golden wings are drawn on the cover I do not regret destroying the Saintist statue. I had to stop it from being used for humans. Of course, they'll find another way, but at least those who escaped will find freedom. If I have any regrets, it's just one. God, save that child. I came from across the wide ocean, from across the wide ocean. Fascinating. Okay. Let's go this way. Yeah. Another earthquake. Hmm. There are definite problems happening right now. Yep. Good decay. Ah! Hmm. Doop, 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 doop. This area's gonna suck. Doop, doop. Gotta have a poison swamp. I know, but <laughs> but still so. Do we have to? All right. Okay. Oh my god! I'm just gonna have to cure it and take for freaking ever. Okay, so use that. There. Made it back to the Welcome station. Welcome to Cracked Central Station. Yeah. That's a lot of blood. Oh my god. These might be fresher kills. Yeah. Oh, gross. Oh. oh. Let me go. Hate that throw. Why? Because it took 25 minutes to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, god, actually. Freaking so long. Like, I get it. Just do the damage. Let me move on with my life. <laughs> well, he's also, like, absorbing you like Cell, which is also not great. Yeah. Remember that time I drank someone? That was screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> 21, 23, train ticket to St. Marian. The text is hard to read because of the blood stains. Oh, good. Great. Love to hear it. You love to see it. Okay, so I guess we're getting... You're taking the train? Whoa! Whoa there, hold on. Ah, I see. Nope. Get out of here. I... It may not be true, but it feels like this is the first time we're seeing, like, actual blood trails. It certainly is a lot, 
of blood trails. Uh, so, because in the past we've seen a lot of like scratches and like the the puppet blood, which is like this black goopy stuff, right? Mm-hmm. An ergo amplification effect coming from Crot Central Station. That's Sophia talking to you. Yeah. The alchemists are plotting something again. Oh, I'm sure they are. Please investigate that area. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if there were any blood stains or anything, they were not as gratuitous as they are here. There, there's a lot more going on, but yeah, I just I wonder if this is a more recent encounter of it. Yeah, I wonder that as well. All right, so this says mm -hmm. proceed through the station. Be careful going through the train, as there is a new enemy with an annoying ranged attack. Oh boy. Yeah. That's just what I want to hear. Good grief. Goop yep. all over the place here. Yep, 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 yep. Another one. Oh, I see. Are you gonna run at me? Yep. <laughs> oh, goody. Yeah. Beam. Oh boy. And then there's whatever is going on over here. Oh! They're everywhere. I'm obnoxious. Oh my god. I bet it's that guy. Yeah, that whole area looks terrible, actually. Yeah, there's treasure down there. There's also that beam across the other way. I don't know if that's the way forward versus this one. Yeah, I can't tell. Uh, let's take a look. That looks like problems, too. Yeah. Shortcut? Yeah. No. It's the wrong side, but yeah, it's... Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's hanging off. Here, we'll make sure. Okay. Yep. Okay. Alright. Well, that answers that question. Yeah, so down there, looks like it might connect over that way. Let's see. God. Yeah. Uh, this is... <laughs> this is a... Not great. This is a problem, is what this is. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Anything over here? Maybe we go look on this side. This is got some stuff. That's where you came from, too, yeah. through that train. Yeah, it is. So um, I'm trying to remember. I don't want to go toward the enemies with arm. Right. Yes, I know that. Uh, switch display. Yeah, I don't remember. All right, whatever. Um, here's what we'll do. the big guy with it. You mad? You mad, bro? grenade sure take that that one's pretty good he, he's got a lot of health though yeah he does um, probably not gonna be able to avoid dealing with this uh-uh okay go over here That's 
that's not good. That's not good. Hit that um the the pustules there. Mm-hmm. Hit that'll help the decay if you hit the pustules. Oh okay. Alright, hang on. Oh, that's better. Alright. It's temporary, I think it regenerates or whatever, but that should oh nice block. Unfortunately it decayed still, but that was a good block regardless. Yeah. Get rid of that. I am not a fan of this situation. Dude, oh my god. This guy's rough. Yeah, they come yeah, back. That's back. Right. Monster's back! Dude. <laughs> My God. All right, let's see if this helps. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to suggest because that's not a great time. No, it is not. Chain. Chain and turtleneck sweater. <laughs> what? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's uh that's pretty rough. Maybe the big sword mm. will be good for dealing with him, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> That. If you had really strong consumables, that would also work, but... Yeah. Deal with all this nonsense again. That is a really solid... Um, this strike right here, that's a solid katana strike for sure. Hmm. A lot of power behind that, just as a move. Yeah, seems like it. Mm -hmm. I got the power. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So aggressive. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Liza P. Thank you, Liza P. <laughs> Stupid. All right, so, uh, ah, Get back down here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was gonna explode. This place is creepy. Random screams. I don't like this. This is, uh... This is something here. There it is.
I am shocked that I am alive from that. <laughs> it's a trap! It definitely was. <laughs> oh, there's an ankle biter, too. Yeah, that's the enemy with the really long, annoying attack. Like, no doubt about it. Ooh, a long hallway where you can only go one direction? Yeah, isn't that great? Uh, death. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm pretty sure we need to deal with that other stuff first. This, this is looking like go that way kind of thing. Uh, all right. Um, okay, so hmm? large scorpion-like in the Victorian area. That's not that. Can we even get back up? Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I would say keep going. There's a shortcut back to the Stargazer. All right. That's if we keep going this way, I think. So. That'll work. Might be worth our effort to just keep pushing forward. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Oh, yeah. We'll come back. Man, I, guy. I wonder if that big creature is what's screaming. Yeah, I wonder that, too. Oh, there's a mess over there. Yeah. Mm. I would say head up the stairs first, maybe. Okay. Ooh. Don't like that move you were prepping there, bud. There's some Cthulhu stuff going on with these puppets. There we go. Nice block. Ooh. I know we've compared Lies of P to Bloodborne in some regard. Yeah. But those creatures especially feel a little Bloodborne-ish. Yeah, it's definitely got some influence, that's for sure. Alright, so they're, in theory... Oh, cool, there's, there's a... Shortcut. Yeah, I think there's a shortcut on both sides. Very good. So it, it might behoove us to run past the big scorpion dude over there. Hmm... What is this? Oh! Oh, this is the other side of that. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I think that hallway is its two different shortcuts, so... Run past this guy? Yeah, it might behoove us to run past this dude. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> there were other problems there. I'm actually gonna try to bottleneck yeah. him a bit. Right. I just, um... It's a good idea, though. Especially with the, the one that was giving you so much trouble. If we can at least open these shortcuts, that'll give us... Great. Easier access back. They hijacked my menu there. That did nothing. <laughs> I'm in danger. Get away from me. I'm in danger. Get away, get away, get away. Come on. <laughs> I mean, that works. Yep, this weapon does that, so I'm using it. Break the laws of physics. Walls are optional. It's true. You go back upstairs? I guess so. Excuse me, sir. He said it's too small a space for me to go. I'm not dealing with that. Perfect. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's the other door right there. This door. Oh, no, maybe not. This one's open. Oh. Okay. This place is confusing. It is. I may have gotten us turned around and spoke incorrectly. Whoa. I apologize. Uh, oh, the, that's the big scorpion dude that, is a, that you want to run past. That is a problem right there. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so I was partially correct. Mm -hmm. That's the big guy you want to run past. Okay. <laughs> so. All right. How do we get down there? Oh, there's a ramp there. Yeah. Okay. Helps if I pay attention. Okay. So. Definitely going to have to do some backtracking on the exploration. Yeah. Yeah, it's 
best move set. That screeching is. Yeah, it's not great. I'm not a big fan of the random screeching. It is still better than the, uh, like, radio screech sound. <laughs> yeah, that was really from working the your brotherhood nerves there. Town. Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame you. That was a messed up sound. Which in turn was still better than experiencing the alarm in the Duke's archives the first time I ever played Dark Souls. God. Yeah, that alarm is not great. Yeah, it's very unnerving if you're not expecting it. Mm hmm. Just calls, causes general anxiety in me. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a messed up sound, that's for sure. Which, kudos to them for being able to make a sound that, like, does that. Because I can't, I can't explain what it is about the sound that does it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the way it, the resonance of it. Yeah. Like, I'm not as educated on, on a lot of that sort of thing, but yeah, I'm right. pretty sure that's the problem. Okay, so, where does this go? This goes nowhere. That goes nowhere. All right. Yeah. Very good. And then there's this big guy. I want that. <laughs> there's like multiple treasure chests at this point. So are we trying to get behind right. that guy? Is that what's happening here? There's a ladder. It's, yeah. Should I just fight him? So this suggests that you you run past him and get the shortcut to the Stargazer first. Okay. That way, when you're dealing with him later, or afterward, it doesn't feel as bad. Okay. Well, it's time to go, though. Oh. But I don't know what past him looks like. It could be the ladder. Yeah, we'll find out here in a second. Oh. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I'll bet it is this. That looked like your starting train that you were in. Yeah, it could have been. Where? Uh. This place is really easy to get turned around in. Okay. <laughs> I think I think this is the oh, right way. There it is. This is, is it. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. All right. We made it. Now I've got access to places better. As the stargazer. Ah, relief. I like it. <laughs> Sweet relief. Because we still got to deal with those two big dudes that were kicking our butts. Yeah. Yeah. So this... Okay, we're back to this idiocy here. Uh, right. Okay. You may want to rest the stargazer before... Psh, rest. No, it's a good idea. Um... <laughs> Who believes in resting? I'm a puppet. Wait. Wait. To your left. Why am I? From the door. Why? Why am I like this? Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good, good. Just gotta deal with this shenanigans again. Ah! I wonder if the sword would do better. I We talked about this already. Yeah, for the, with big, the guy. big guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try that. Oh, what a night. Let's see. Now. Because I gotta imagine there's something worthwhile down there. Oh, yeah, there's a chest down there. Yeah, yeah, I'm certain that is going to be good. I want to throw a shot, though. Yeah, I just kind of wish. <laughs> yes. Wish it was a little easier to handle that specific area. Yeah, this area is kind of aggravating. Eh. Okay. Eh. Wow. Oh, nice. That worked. Eh. All right. So downward. 
because I forgot. Let's try that. Ugh. Stupid decision on my part there. It's brutal. Yeah, this... I am not a fan of this enemy. There are at least two of these guys. That did good work, though. Yeah, it did. There we go. Put this guy in his place. Hopefully, those those big guys like that tend to not come back. I so maybe we'll maybe we'll get lucky. That would be nice. I won't hold my breath, but <laughs> maybe we'll get lucky. What? Worth it? Yeah, yeah, that was absolutely worth it. Oh my goodness. Alright, so that whole area was aggravating. But doable. Double. Okay, and I think this trains like that side of everything and that drop down have been dealt with, so we should just be able to go over here. I think. Y yeah. And through here. Um that was this yeah, and there's the other big dude. Yeah, this whole thing. And guys start coming out of the freaking woodwork here. Alright. You here, you fool! Completely whipped. Ugh. He didn't leave like poison clouds everywhere. He wouldn't be as bad. Right. Hmm. Are you leashing? What are you doing, bud? He probably is, yeah. Oh. That is infuriating. There we go. Oh. Please stop being a millimeter out of my range. But no. But no. Can't do that. Yeah. I could not think. <laughs> when they're backing up slowly to make you whiff by a microscopic amount. I'm too frustrated to think. Stop <laughs> slowly backing up, you jerk face. Quit backing up. Yes, I would be aggressive, but I get freaking poison. No, no, no. <laughs> Dan Suffrage 101. Ah, that is so brutal. Yeah, that decay is rough, for sure. Come on. And it feels like the payout isn't worth it half the time. Right, yeah, you like run up and it does half your health bar and skyrockets the decay gauge. Like, stupid. Oh my god, come on. Jeez. No, 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 no. All right, I have to retreat because I don't have any other decay cura curatives. I have to go. Yeah, you're going to make me go back across that. All right. Yeah, come on over here. Yeah, you won't fall down. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. All right, so let's see. We're out of those. I'll throw a saw at him. It'll be fine. It might kill him, actually. Let's find out. 
This health's pretty low. I'll start picking up random th things and throwing them all at him. I know, right? Come on. Oh yeah, that. All right. I'm probably gonna die. Uh, ugh. Actually, let's find this out. Okay, that's a decent amount of recovery from that ability. Oh, from the is it the 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 buff repair when using the buff. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Jeez. This area is hateful. It is. This is by far the most oppressive area to be in. Alright. Alright. You gotta dodge that side. Alright. Attrition! Yeah, and then of course the big dude is down here. I need to just run past that guy is what I need to do. Because I'm really not very far. I was just really determined to kill that guy. So I'm assuming right. we need to kill this idiot to... Um, it'll make your life easier for sure. So he um, doesn't come back, right? Not that I'm aware of. He's he's a named beast, so probably not. All right, I'm gonna go spin this ergo real quick and come back, and then I'm gonna run past and then kill that guy. That's my plan. That's a good idea. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, this area is pretty difficult. If it weren't for the prevalence of status effects, it would be a little easier. Do you need to buy more of your MTTK stuff? I do not know. That's possible. Let's see. He have these? He should, yeah. I have quite a few of them. I might have I might have had plenty, but that's all right. I don't mind. Uh, let's go grab the tree real quick. Yeah. So that big guy. What do you think? The big sword for him? Maybe. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I treat, treat him like a boss. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. He's, he looks like a mini boss. Basically a mini boss. Sounds good to me. Put that. Could probably level up that other big sword. See, see how it goes. Yeah. The like halberd sword. <laughs> yeah. It's a cool one. The, the Biden or whatever it was. Oh uh, no, the um, the like big crusader sword that you. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that one's cool too. The Biden is also a cool weapon. Yeah. There are a lot of really, really awesome weapons. Uh, in this game. Um, yeah. I need to mess around a little more with the changeable uh, weapons or whatever. Um, just to see if... Because there are a lot of good combinations there, but so far I have liked the non... Go back the other way. And go through your door. Yeah. There. The non-combining weapons a little bit more. I mean, that makes sense. They're the boss weapons. They tend to have unique properties, a little stronger overall. We got boss weapons. All right. Wait. Yep, you'll go down uh, the ladder or, or the stairs, or you can also... Okay. So the stairs... Oh, no, the stairs block you off from him. Sorry. This is not... Yeah, okay. I was wrong, but we will go down the steps soon. But yeah, down this way. All right, ladder. Mm. He just, just a gross. He's just a little guy. I would like you. He's a little dude. He's just a little guy. <laughs> I want to do a plunging attack. Come over here. He's too far away yeah, for that. I don't think he's gonna. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Get him. Oof. 
Oh, he's made of, like, crystal. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Jeez. Yeah, I'm so God. shocked he has a... <sighs> Alright, try that again. Yeah, is he, uh, like a more armored version of... I think he's a unique mob. Alright. Alright. Around right, steps. Right. Yep. Yeah, over here. Over here. Yeah. Alright. You got this, though. Just gotta figure this guy out. That is Ooh. a stupid move. Hey, have that. Nice. Nice block. Ooh. Good dodge. I'm getting the tail cut instinct from Dark Souls 1 here. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that'll be a weapon. What's name, Monster Hunter? Ooh. No. Oh, yeah. Suck it. Yeah. Oh, it's so close. We got this. There it is. Murderer puppets. Take that, you stupid monster. Get out of here. Go die in a fire. Alright. Oh, yeah. What is this one? Damage inflicted on Damn humans. Fire. Okay. Yeah, so we got puppets, humans, and carcasses. Um, so I have heard it recommended that you align. Obviously, I haven't really been doing this, but you align for the enemy type that you're fighting, and you can get a fairly good right. substantial buff to your damage. Yeah, okay, so there's a train in here that we can go into, which is the one you started going into and realized it was basically a train. Realized there were problems, yeah. Right, so we're going to go in there with some stuff to grab. Awesome. That is far too much decay build. All right. Oh, what the? <laughs> Jeez. There we go. So much damage. Yeah. Ugh. If this is the train you started in... Is it? It looks an awful lot like it. Well, like a dining car here. Yeah. But like the workbench, and then like, see, there's your chair. Chair. Back to the greatest puppet. Now that child again. Yeah, I believe you're right. It's back here. By starting in, I believe you mean starting the game. We started the game here. Yes, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yes. There should be something behind the chair. Okay. Uh, that there's like something in, like. In, can you break that or? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We are... Yes, behind the train car where you woke up. Hmm. What is this? Oh, oh. Who would put a workshop like this here, of all places? Good grief. Geppetto? Yeah, who else? Mm -hmm. Tools. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, we got a little workbench to upgrade stuff. Fascinating. Okay. You can alter the handle here. You can even mess with the Legion arm. Can I? Yeah, I can modify. Yeah, I don't have enough wow. for that. I can craft a new one. Which we don't have. A, we need one more Legion plug to craft the final one. Okay. That's crazy. For someone who has gone ahead. Ah, oh, dear Geppetto's puppet, you will come to this workshop train. I'm really thankful for you. A workshop train hidden by Geppetto. Isn't that something? 
If not you, how would I have found this place? Unfortunately for Geppetto, I have the ability to read someone's memories. In Malam District, I had a hunch. They thought that if they followed you, Geppetto's puppet, they'd find the relic he stole. And that hunch was right. The relic that has been returned to our sacred place. Now that the stage is set, the doors will open. I know all this is confusing, but soon you'll learn everything. Thank you. You are a good guide. Simon Manus. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We got something back here, too. Yep. Ooh, cartridge. Yeah. It's interesting. Because I still don't know what the purpose Geppetto had. Yeah. To create P, specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, and, obviously, it was a passion project because it was hidden in a lab far away essentially yeah fascinating that's wild i don't remember us being in central station when we walked out though like no did we go through a different door maybe, right or? right so i'm pretty sure the earthquake has moved where this car is like it okay. fell through the floor or something like it's it's somewhere else Because that bench looks familiar, for sure. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Or maybe the train's just moved since then. Yeah, or that. Or that, yeah. Okay. Um. Alright, so... Yeah, there is a yeah, chest over here that I want to get to eventually. Yeah, so we've basically cleared this area out. So we can go back up the ladder and go down the steps that we tried to go down earlier. Okay. And that'll put us on the other side of that train, and I think we'll get us access to that uh, chest as well. Outstanding. Oh, yeah, the steps. Okay, I got it. We. Alright, so. <laughs> oh, hey, there's messed up stuff over there, too. I mean, there's messed up stuff everywhere at this point. Yeah, so that's that goes through that car. It's over here. Okay, all right. So, yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's not good at all. Excuse me. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, wow. It's not good. Oh my god. It's hard to see what they're doing, too. Ooh. Could everything stop having charge attacks and 50 hit combos, please? Nope. No. <laughs> uh, half Moonstone. All right. Dude, dude, Ugh. come on. No. Wow, these guys are really annoying. There we go. Bravo, bravo. Designers of these clap, enemies clap, 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 clap. who hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My goodness. There's a lot out there. There for sure is. Okay. Another one. Ugh. <laughs> nice. Get out of here. Master Chef's knife. Yeah. Intriguing. Let's see what we got here. Uh, what is it? It's like up here. Oh, it's like a butcher knife. Oh, that's huh. that's pretty quick. It looks a little bit like uh, Mad Donkey's blade after it was broken. Yeah, yeah, just a bit. So, damage reduction. Okay, Furious Slash. Okay. 
Yeah, not a bad weapon, really. Let's uh, equip the side again. Okay, so there's also an open car behind the steps that we didn't go in earlier. Wait, behind? Yeah. Keep going, there's keep going. There's those steps. Yeah, then there's the car over here, right? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, we'll go in here. Yeah, this is also a dead end, from my understanding. I'm a human. Just a soldier. Is that true? Hey. Are you a stalker? Name's Atkinson. Crop militia. Hmm. The suburbs. He was you. Yeah. There's no escape. Communications cut off too. Someone planned this all out. No idea who. But my paper. I'm going to go with his initials are SM. Mm -hmm. If you meet someone named Bell in the city, Oof. tell him Atkinson died. A soldier. Atkinson's letter. Atkinson's letter. Nah, I'm pretty sure you're just gonna have to fight him. Or something. Probably. Well. Let's look at the ladder real quick. Uh... Oh. Yeah, here we go. Uh... My dearest Bell. I remember the day I met th you through your father's friend, Sir Left. Left? Hmm. Loft. 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 <laughs> He'd be loafing around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that day, the steam of Crot Central Station was thick on the platform, and a flock of birds was flying overhead above the glass ceiling. One pooped on you. I'm so sorry. Uh. There, I was waiting for you. When I saw a lady take one step down those stairs, I knew it was you. Your ever Evervescent laughter, effervescent <laughs> laughter left an impression on me. The reason I'm writing this letter? Yes, I'm at the train station and it reminds me of you from that time. We were colleagues at first and then lovers, but I still can't let you go. The way you smiled and looked forward to the exhibition and festivals, those beautiful nights with the fireworks, I just can't let it go. So if we are to survive and make it out of here, I plan to visit you with this letter. Please stay safe and wait for me until then. Sincerely, Atkinson. Sad. That's very sad. That's sad. I'm assuming we leave him alone. Yeah, there's nothing no, to do. No real reason to. But what I would do is set up the steps that we just ran past. These? The ones you just ran oh, past. okay, all right. Yeah, head back to the Stargazer. Okay. Uh, and we should talk to Bell and take care of that request of hers. Sounds good. Oh yeah. This way. Yeah. And we'll head back. Yeah, and we are, I think, getting close to time, so this might be a good stopping point as well. Yeah, I would say this is a excellent stopping point. A little bit of a struggle getting through that area a little bit, but we're making it. Yep. Well, I found your... found Atkinson. Yeah, we still got some work to do in this area but yeah good to see you i was getting worried waiting this long the situation here seems to be getting worse soldiers like me yeah. are blunt so give it to me straight is is my partner safe mm. killed in action fighting a puppet this this is Atkinson's handwriting on the letter. When we came to Crop, I never thought it would end like this. Sometimes you meet people who make you believe they'll always be with you, but a life can be snuffed out at any moment. I need to stay alive to notify others of his death. But it feels like something inside me has died as well. Anyway, 
I appreciate knowing what happened. I mean it. Ouch. A world I did not know when I was in the tower. The flower you gave me. The world you showed me made me happy. My memories are burning, leaving only the question of why behind. Where does love begin? Why? A song of aching love and whispers. Alright. Well. Well, on that horribly depressing note. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some depressing developments here. Uh, That's the nature of souls likes. There ain't nothing good happening. Yeah. Your characters, if you want good endings for them, maybe don't finish their storylines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially Dark Souls 3. Like, of all of them, 3's oh. got some of the most tragic NPCs ever. Yeah, they're they're very, very tragic, that's for sure. Like, even the best of them are just like, I'm gonna go sit in a corner and die now. Bye! Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you're at the end of the world, the end of everything, so I do get it, right. but it's like, oh, that's sad, though. <laughs> just, just one. I want just one to be like, I'm gonna go start a new life in a new world. See you later. And so maybe when Solaire linked the flame, he he finally found peace or something. Like that's about all you get, really. <laughs> yeah, he found his son. Yeah. Yep. Oh man. <laughs> Poor Solaire. Yeah, for real. Well, all right. Thank you so much for uh, watching and being with us today. If you like what you watched, then please. Uh, like, subscribe, share with a friend. It really helps us out a lot. And leave some comments, whether it's related to this game or something completely innocuous. It doesn't matter to us. We just like engaging with you, hearing your thoughts, being part of your day. Um, if you need something to fill in your time, we've got plenty of other games. Uh, several that have been fully completed. Things like Xenogears, which is a great watch. Uh, we also have something that's a little more... You know, low key with our tea time Tuesdays, so you can always check out like Coffee Talk or Little Kitty Big City. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, our ongoing series with you know Liza P here on Fridays. We got our Salt and Sanctuary co op gaming on Saturday. We've got uh, Mika and the Witch's Mountain on Tuesdays, and then of course Persona Three Reload on on uh, Monday and Thursdays. So plenty of ongoing series as well to keep your appetite wet, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah, check those out, and you're guaranteed to find something that'll make you laugh, I think, at least. Yeah, and if uh, you've been watching this game, you have another game you want to see us play. Uh, perhaps a Souls-like, perhaps you're reminded of a totally random game while, while watching this. Uh, feel free to throw that suggestion in the comments. We always like hearing about games you enjoy, um, and we will take it into consideration when kind of deciding what we want to put on the channel. Uh, we do play games that we enjoy uh but we value your recommendations as well uh because i am sure all of our tastes can converge at a certain point here um <sighs> that's right so yeah yeah definitely let us know if there's anything you want to see um and if you got any comments on builds in this game or the story as it's going so far in this episode don't jump ahead but yeah definitely feel free to reach out and like and subscribe please do the algorithm things <laughs> for us we appreciate it Yep. Uh, and we do keep the, like, seriously, just to echo, uh, mm -hmm. any suggestions you guys give us, we write them down. Mm -hmm. and we can't make any promises that we'll tackle all of them, but they are all looked at and considered whether or not they fit our style um, or one that we can, that we think we can do well, either lore wise or uh, entertainment wise for you. So mm -hmm. um, feel free to share for sure. Absolutely. In the meantime, Thank you so much for letting us be part of your day, and we hope it is an awesome one. And we will catch you all in the next video. We'll see you next time. Bye bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>